Are you getting knee pain when you hike? Or if you look down and you wonder why your knee's collapsing inward like this, hello, you gotta learn to control the position of your body. So instead of letting your knees touch each other, focus, drive the knee outwards, grip the ground with your foot, conscious control, slower movements, watch down, and guess what? You're gonna be able to hike further, higher, and feel amazing, and also catch the awesome views. That's where life is, baby. Yeah, you made it to the top, but you look like shit. Your backpacks cause you to round forward like this, and now for the picture, the background looks 20 times better than you do. If you're wearing a backpack and hiking, simply focus on shoulder blade control. Tighten the stuff up, whatever he's doing, do that. Pinch the blades together. Pinch them tight. Let me point out, Andrew. Fire the glutes. I think he hit his butt. Pinch the blades together, pull the chin tight. You're gonna have to resist the urge to let your shoulders full for, pull for, full forward. A lot of you wonder the proper way to defecate or to take a shit. It's the same way as you do a deep squat. The further down you squat, it makes your colon go straight, makes you poo a lot easier. So whether you're squatting and enjoying the view, or taking a crap in the woods, or sitting on the toilet, use the squatty potty, it's the same thing. The further down you squat, the easier it is to poo. If you can't do what Andrew's doing, lean against a tree, a rock, or find a good friend to lean against. If you're bouldering, you have to use your arms to climb something when you're hiking or in life, what you're gonna do, instead of letting everything round like you do at your office, get a grip on things, lock your shoulder blades in place, pull them down, and then climb. It's that easy. You gotta train proper movement. It doesn't happen just because you're out climbing and hiking. If you don't train proper movement, you're gonna look more fit around a crooked frame. Is that what you want? I didn't think so. Now do something. Regardless if you get back pain, hip pain, knee pain when you hike, here's what's happening. Your heel striking, you're slamming your heel on the ground, you got an arched back, you look like shit doing it, you're hurting yourself. Instead, it's much better for you to, and hurry up, get back up here. <laughs> what are you doing down there? It's much better to have conscious control. When you hike, reach your tippy toe forward, touch with the front of your foot by your toes. Touch, use your calf as a shock absorber. Move a little bit slower, more controlled. And what that's gonna do is take the stress off your back, off your hip, off your head, off of all the things. So you can feel amazing, hike longer, be happier, live longer, you know, all that stuff. Sometimes you've gotta step off a ledge, a rock, jump off a balcony, whatever it is, and you've got a little ledge here. If you've got aches and pains, if you're kind of concerned, then play it safe. What you do is squat down. Maybe go into a pistol, slowly reach down, brace your core, and do a touch. Take your time, man. You've only got one body. You preserve this thing, all right? If you're a little bit more controlled, maybe you could take a jump off of it, but you've got to have good control because that impact triples your body weight, if not more, and will exaggerate every single problem that you have, shortening your lifespan.